Hey guys, this is Ricardo and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. Now, today I'll be looking at an issue where you're um, stuck in a boot loop, right? Or your phone won't turn on. And this applies to the Samsung Galaxy line of phones, whether it be the ones with the removable battery or the ones that have a built-in battery that cannot be removed. So if you have one of those devices, this fix is definitely for you and I'll show you how to fix the issue where you're stuck in a boot loop. Now, first things first, um, I'll be demonstrating using this device, which is a Samsung Galaxy S3. So even if you don't have this particular device, it will still work for you, all right? This can apply to any Samsung, as I said, old or new. All right, guys, so let's get straight into it. Now, um, oh, I almost forgot. And just before we get into it, let's roll that brand new intro. Hope you enjoy that new intro all right guys so let's go right into the fix now the first thing i want you to do with your device if it has a removable battery is to um, open the back and once you open the back of the device i want you to remove the battery and if you have anything such as a sd card or so on make sure that you remove it because um these can actually cause um issues so just go ahead and slide your um, sd card out Next, if you have a SIM card for the time being, just take it out. All right. So once everything is um, out and it's like this, I want you to um, slide the battery back in. If you have a removable battery. All right. Now, once you have done that, I want you to um, go ahead and just try pouring it back up. For others, it won't power up. So what the first thing I want you to do is to hold down um, the power button, and you're gonna press that while holding volume down, right? This one is especially for those who are actually on um, thing, um, have a non-removable battery, such as the Samsung Galaxy S6, S7, or the Note 5, or the Note, brand new Note 7, or any other newer versions of the Note or the Samsung Galaxy. So it's gonna go ahead, hold power and um, down. Now, for some of you, just doing that will actually um, get the device to um, power up, all right? If that didn't work, I wanted to go ahead and basically hold. I'm um, going to press power this time and volume up, and I wanted to just try that. Um, the reason why we're trying these variations is because for every device is different, so you're going to hold power, volume up. You're going to try that for a second, and if that doesn't cause your device to boot up, Next, we're going to try something else. We're going to try to boot into what we call recovery mode. Now, for most devices, and for each one is different, you're going to press home button. We're going to also press um, volume up and power. Now, for the Samsung um, Galaxy S3, just notice what we're doing. As soon as we start this up, as soon as you're going to see a blue icon in the upper corner, you're going to let go of all the buttons. As soon as you see this blue icon right here. All right. What we're booting in here now is a mode called recovery mode. All right, and there you go. For some devices, you'll see no command. Um, I have a video, separate video on that. I might link it on screen how to deal with the no command around here if you're seeing no command on your device. All right, so as you see now, the options you're seeing um, reboot for some of you guys. Simply by doing this, the screen will come on. All right, and you just need to hit power to select and volume up and down to navigate. So go ahead some of you and you can eat re, um, power to reboot and just by rebooting this will force the device to actually power up and get out of the boot loop now um, if you try that and you reboot I want it to go back again I want it to boot back in this mode by holding home um, power and volume up or whatever combination got you into the recovery mode so if that one fails I want you to scroll down use the volume down button I want you to search for an option called wipe cache partition. Once you find it, use power to select. All right guys, so once you wipe cache partition, you may want to take notice that um, the only warning will be that um, you'll see wipe in cache, format in cache, and cache wipes complete. So as you notice, I've um, done it multiple times, you'll see multiple entries, all right? So you should only see one entry, but if you do it multiple times, it should not cause any issues. So this is the only indicator down here that you have actually wiped the cache, all right? So once you do that, I want you to go use volume up again. And I want you to go up to reboot system now. And as of course, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just, I don't um, want to get back into this mode right now. Save time, so you want to go ahead and hit um, power here and you will automatically um, reboot. Now, once you reboot, 
um, for most of you, some of you, the, the system will boot up. If that fails, what I want you to do next is to go again. All right? And what I want you to do is scroll down to wipe and factory reset. I want to press power to select. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come down all the way to um, yes here. All right? And you're going to wipe data. Now, one, before you do this, please know that this will erase all of your data. All right? Now, in some cases, this is the only way to actually um, get the device to actually start booting again. However, if you don't want to attempt this because you don't want to lose any data, you don't want to um, wipe it, you may want to skip this particular step. So, only proceed if you actually want um, to um, fix it. So, for some of you, it will fix it. For others, it won't. Right? So, it's no guarantee. But that's one of the options I sometimes use. All right? So, I'm not going to do it on this device. I'm just demonstrating. All right? Now, of course, in most cases, you'll um, reboot and the device will start up. So another thing that might happen um, is, or another thing you can actually try is, um, this time, instead of using the volume up home button and um, volume up, you're going to use volume down. So you're going to hold down all three, right? And of course, you're going to boot into a new mode. Now, if you get into this particular mode, it's known as download mode. But the trick here is that we don't actually want to um, load on anything onto the phone. So what we did here is just to use this mode sometimes to get the device out of the um, the boot loop that you're in. All right. So if that doesn't work, I want to just hit, um, or if it works, your device has come back on. Just click um, volume up to continue. Right. And of course, from here, sorry, should have been volume down. But even if you didn't hit volume down. Just go ahead and um, hold down um, power, volume down, and home. All right, just wait a few seconds. And there you go. The device will reboot. All right, and of course, if it doesn't come on back by itself, it should just start powering up in most cases, and then it should start booting. All right, I'm just demonstrating here again, guys. So just please remember, keep that in mind. So, all right, if all of that has failed so far, here's the next thing I wanted to try. Now, um, sometimes the power button is stuck, meaning there is something wrong on the internal. Now, I have a video in which I show you how to disassemble and then how to troubleshoot the power button. It's on another Samsung device, but it will still apply. I'm going to put that on screen here so you can go ahead and click on that and see how to actually um, disassemble this and get to the power button and un get the power button unstuck. However, if you're not comfortable with this assembly, what I want you to do is just try something else. And that something else is you're going to try to nudge the button to actually get it loose. So how do you nudge the button? Sometimes something's wrong on the inside. So what you actually do is to just repeatedly press the button repeatedly as fast as possible. I want you to nudge the button. All right. You can actually heat it up against your palm as well firmly remember i'm not responsible for any damage you do to your phone this should be relatively safe but ultimately it's up to you and i mean give it a, a firm smack not too hard to damage your phone but enough you can also use a book something solid like a telephone directory and hit up against it sometimes that will get the button unstuck and then instead of the phone boot um rebooting rebooting it will actually fix the issue and it will start working again all right so you have two options there for those who don't want to disassemble their phones Another option too is that sometimes the battery is at fault, meaning this thing is not good. So if your battery is old or it's sold and has been used too much, then what could happen is that the battery is not working. So if you're a friend, get another spare battery or something and try that in there. Sometimes you'll notice the boot right up, so it was the battery. All right. Um, another thing is to test for um, if the battery is swollen. Uh, another test that you can do is get a relatively flat surface. Um, this surface is... Um, not so flat but what you can actually do is if the battery spins really easy if the surface is flat you're not getting any resistance it's just spinning like a top I realize that the battery is swollen and it's damaged but that's because there's a bulge and then what happens is that because the surface is very flat you try to spin it I'll do it on the floor it's usually flat on the floor and it won't spin so easily but if it spins like a top this usually means that this battery is swollen it's not good all right guys so um please remember with this issue um those are the things that you must try um if one of those tend to work and tend to get your phone back up if it did not work um there is actually a final result that we always go to and that is to actually um flash your phone 
um, it's not easy for most people so I didn't go into that I'll do that in a separate video um, I don't have a video of it up right now but I do have an article if I have the video done I'll make sure I put a link in this video but in case you can click right here you'll be taken to the website where you are shown how to flash any Samsung Galaxy um, phone and that one usually fix boot loop or almost um, 90 odd percent of the problem so when you click here and go over to the website alright guys it's Ricardo Gardner from Blog Tech Tips with another quick or should I say uh, extended um, tip please remember um, to share this video and also subscribe if you're not a member of our YouTube channel alright guys it's Ricardo from Blog Tech Tips saying bye